artists, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Artsonia app. You're going to start by going into self-service, clicking the art category, and you'll be looking for Artsonia 6.0. It's going to have a bright colored paint splatter. You will say install, and I like to click out of self-service once I click install and look at my home screen to see how far it has installed. If it's taking a long time to install, you can check in settings that your Wi-Fi is connected by clicking settings, then Wi-Fi. It should only take about a minute or less to install. Once the app is installed, you're going to click on it to open. It will ask you sometimes if it can update the app. Always say update. Then it's going to ask you, are you a teacher? artist or parent we always click the blue artist button they've added an extra button this year so we're going to click the blue login to class portal once you're into the class portal it will ask for access to your camera you always say okay access my camera and to save time you're going to click the purple scan Once you click on your grade, it will ask you your teacher's name. You'll find your class. Click on your class, and then it will have your first name sorted alphabetically. So you'll find your name, click on your account, and now it's added, asking you to add artwork. So you will click the plus sign to add art in the bottom right corner. You'll choose the correct project. Today I'm posting to the pumpkin patch project. And you'll always say take new photo if you're adding a new picture. It will probably ask you to access your photos the first time. You will say allow access to all photos. Now instead of using the desk to take your photo, since it makes sort of a weird um, trapezoid shape, we're actually going to use the floor. And I personally like to put a black piece of paper behind so it creates a nice picture frame. You will always click on your art to focus so it's not blurry, and then take the picture. You can either retake or use photo. You wanna make sure you're in a well-lit area so the photo is bright. Now you have a couple options for cropping your photo. If you do have a nice background behind, you wanna keep some frame around the edges. This makes it easier for your grown-ups to order your art if they choose so. There's also another crop option that brings the whole angle of a 90 degree corner all at once rather than one corner at a time. Once your frame looks great, you're going to click next in the top right corner. This page lets you change some things with the lighting. I like to choose the auto fix button in the bottom left corner. This automatically fixes the lighting and the color of your room space. So you can decide for yourself as an artist if you like it on or off. You'll then click submit in the top right corner and you get to title your artwork. I titled this piece my pumpkin patch. Once you've titled your work, you click submit. And now it's time to fill out one question or two from your artist statement. The title and artist statement is then sent in an email to both your art teacher and any grown-ups or family members that are connected to the account. Once your artist statement is complete, you'll click submit in the top right corner and it will add it to your gallery. This is a great opportunity to look at how your work has changed over the years. If you notice there's a red dot or a red apple on an artwork, that means that your teacher has left feedback for you to read. And if you notice a white comment bubble on your artwork, that means that a family member or a fan has commented on your work. You can feel free to click on those projects, scroll to the bottom to read those comments and encouragement. If you don't have any comments on your artwork, you can always reach out to your grown-ups when you head home and ask them to check out your Artsonia. If they can't access it, please let your art teacher know and they can help your grown-ups enter their email. Finally, when you're done, you can click log out.